Hey everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back. We are here today on the reclining sofa where we were in episode one. This time, however, it is the right switch that is defective and we're gonna have to replace it. That's where my wife sits, so it wasn't quite as critical, but we are gonna do it. And luckily, it's something that even I can do. Okay, so you're probably wondering, why are we doing this again? This is the third video, Steve, that you've done on this. This is gonna be the fast version. Okay, step one, we're gonna tip our couch so we can get access to all the plugs. All right, next thing we're gonna do is unplug our power. We did have a light here, it was lit up, so we know that we were getting power from the wall, so that is good. We're gonna unzip this so we have access to our cables. We got a lot of debris under here, we're gonna vacuum that up. Okay, we need to remove the faceplate. Pop that out. That reveals two Phillips screws, which we're gonna remove with our screwdriver. And we'll pull it free. So we know this is connected on the other side to a, the other cable, so let's get back there and get that out. All right, we're gonna follow our cable. Come through here. And connects here. Grab the switch and pull the wire all the way through. Here's our new switch, literally direct from China. Have our switch and our new plate, everything good to go here. Unravel this, take, so remove this twist wire, unfurl our cable, and then we're gonna feed this cable through our hole. Fish the wire up the arm of the chair. Then align the wire's groove with the arrow on the power supply cable, then insert. Push the switch wires back into the arm of the chair. Insert the switch snugly. Replace the screws. And tap the faceplate into place. Tip the couch back up to its upright position. Plug in the couch. And sure the couch is working by testing the recline function. All right, we're back in business to functioning recliners. Now this is the second switch we've replaced on this particular sofa. First was the one on the left and now the one on the right. Why they're failing at such a high uh, frequency, I don't know. But luckily we know how to swap it out pretty quickly. Uh, speaking of quick, this was the fast version. This is uh, the third in the series we've, we've done on these sofas. Uh, our first video, which was episode one in our Things Even I Can Do series, talked in much more detail uh, about how to swap one of these things out. We covered uh, troubleshooting, we talked about uh, which model switch you needed, and then dealt with the actual replacement. Video two in this series covers some of the other parts that can go bad, including the power supply and the rocker switch itself. So if you need one of those two, please check them out. Anyway, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and please subscribe. And until next time, this has been Steve for things that even I can do.